Why aren't there more professional black golfers? Tiger Woods said he owes his career to Charlie Sifford, the first black member of the PGA, but the golf world has done far too little to promote black players. When the Masters tournament commenced last Thursday, featuring 89 competitors, there was exactly uh, one black golfer in the field, the one we all know, Tiger Woods. Beyond that, the field for the 88th Masters didn't look all that different from the previous 87. This is what Charles Sifford envisioned when he and Stanley Mosk, the Attorney General of California, fought to integrate the professional golfers. Association of America, Sifford, which often referred to as the Jackie Robinson of golf, became the first black PGA member in 1964, after a decades-long fight to join the organization that had, for much of its history, stated in its charter that it would admit the only golfers of the Caucasian race. There are currently efforts to promote diversity in golf, such as the Charlie Sifford Memorial Exemption at the Genesis Invitational, which set aside a spot in the tour tournament for a golfer of color every year. Why not introduce such an exemption at every PGA tournament. The PGA should also be funding more programs to develop young black golfers, as well as investing in golf among black athletes. This year, the bas basketball star Stephen Curry, who funded the revival of the golf program at the historically black Howard University will be honored at the World Golf Hall of Fame induction ceremony with the Charlie Seaford Award for Advancing Diversity in Golf. The PGA should follow Curry's lead.